Hey, what's up guys, Too Tall Toby here, and today we're gonna talk about selecting components from your assembly that are transparent. As you can see here, I've got this glass pane, this glass door, and this glass pane in the foreground of my assembly. Selecting them is no problem currently, but it becomes more difficult when we've got components behind those transparent components. Now, as you can see, I select right through the transparent component. So what can I do to select those glass panes in the foreground of my assembly? Ow! So this is a spot that I know a lot of users have found themselves in. When you've got an assembly and the assembly has a transparent component in the foreground, you can select that component as long as there's nothing solid behind it. But the default behavior in SolidWorks is if you select a solid component behind a transparent component, you'll just click right through the transparent component and you'll click on the solid component. Now in this case, it's no problem. I can just click here where there's nothing in the background. But when you have a more complicated assembly and you don't have that option, what you'll find is that you'll always be selecting through that transparent component and maybe you have to go into the feature tree and try to find that component in order to select it and open it into its own window. Well, the shortcut here is to use the shift key. What the shift key will let you do is select the component in the foreground. And you can even see it here kind of in the dynamic highlighting. So I'm picking these planks in the background. I hold shift. Now I'm selecting the door. So now I could select the, the, the clear transparent door, let go of shift, and then I could choose to open that component into its own window. Or if I hold shift and select that door again, I could maybe choose to open that subassembly into its own window and begin working on that subassembly. So that's it for today's power move, uh, using the shift key to select transparent components in the foreground. I think you're really gonna find a lot of value from this moving forward, and I'm sure you're gonna find a lot of spots to use it. And you know, the shift key can be used in a lot of different spots in SolidWorks. In fact, if you wanna take a look at this video, this shows another example of where the shift key can save you a lot of time. As always, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, subscribe, maybe add a comment, and uh, of course, share this video with somebody else who's trying to learn some great power moves in the wonderful world of SolidWorks. And I'll see you guys in the next one.